advanced trainee in infectious diseases and general medicine, currently working at Middlemore Hospital in South Auckland. I'm a hut boy, raised in um, the beautiful Hut Valley, where I went to school, and then did a bit of time working on a BA at Victoria University in Wellington. In the end, that wasn't quite the right fit for me, and I applied for medicine and moved up to Auckland, uh, where I completed my undergraduate medical training. After my two house office years in Auckland, I started training with RACP in general medicine, and once I was through my RACP exams, I found my way to infectious diseases and fell in love with that specialty and I was accepted onto the advanced training pathway. I now have 12 more months of ID training and 6 more months of general medicine to complete before I finish my advanced training. Auckland is a fantastic place to live in. Myself, I'm more of a city person and Auckland has all the advantages and amenities of living in a big city, but also provides great recreational activities for the weekends, with easy access to some of New Zealand's most beautiful nature, and with many of the other attractions of the North Island being accessible in a day trip or a weekend away. That's why I love living here. One of the main reasons I've chosen to train in Auckland are the fantastic training experiences that are available throughout the hospitals in the region. With every subspecialty on offer, I was personally able to rotate through many different registrar posts, including ID, cardiology, renal, haematology, respiratory, and critical care, which has given me so many learning opportunities along the way, and a very broad breadth of knowledge which might not have been available in other regions. There is also a great culture of education and research in Auckland, and I have been offered many opportunities to pursue my own research under the guidance of some very experienced clinicians who themselves are doing important and internationally respected research. Infectious diseases is a great specialty. At first I had trouble deciding on what to train in because everything I did I found exciting and interesting. But what I love about ID is that the bread and butter of the work we do is about managing patients with infections from every specialty in the hospital as well as in the community. And every day I find that I'm learning something new about an area of medicine that I would be unlikely to be exposed to if I had chosen a speciality with a narrower focus. I also really enjoy travel and learning about other parts of the world that we live in. And every week in ID, we get to manage patients who have traveled from overseas and present with exotic infections like malaria, dengue fever, uh, typhoid, and a range of others. And I get a lot of satisfaction from diagnosing and treating these patients. It's fantastic to have the opportunity to rotate regularly between the core main hospitals in the Auckland region. I've found that all these hospitals have their own unique culture and way of practicing medicine, which, as training doctors, gives us exposure to different ideas and styles of practice and contributes to our development as well-rounded practitioners, all without having to uproot and move cities to achieve these different experiences. All junior doctors in Auckland are well supported with protected in-house teaching sessions every week and are assigned supervisors and mentors who are committed to the success and the professional development of their trainees. Junior doctors are also eligible for reimbursement of training expenses as well as reimbursement for the costs of courses and conferences relevant to the speciality in which they are training. ID is a great choice. Times are changing in infectious diseases. The threat of antimicrobial resistance is here now and is one of the biggest emergencies facing the medical profession and indeed the world. We need passionate ID trainees to be on the forefront of managing this vitally important issue. Last year, with a lot of support from an amazing ID physician at Auckland Hospital, I had an article published in a major medical journal. It was great to have the hard work finally pay off.